How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy OB Wit on Wit Television. How y'all doing today? Um, you know, shout out the LA, Los Angeles, Rams, however you want to put it. It's a little bittersweet situation. You know, the reason why I say it's bittersweet, shout out Odell. It's happy for him to get a ring. Cleveland did him dirty. Even shout out Matthew Stafford. <laughs> he had a rough time over there in Detroit. Uh, shout out Aaron Donald as well, even though these rivals right there, but you know. You gotta give them their flowers, man. You balled out, man. But uh, I'm really big, big, big on Odell, man. That's a, I like him. That's a good receiver right there, man. So shout him out, man. Um, I know a lot of people going that Eli Apple right now, but it's like, hey, hey you talk big, you got to play big. At the end of the day, if you talk big, you got to play big. At the end of the day, man. So shout out the Rams, man. So uh, we're going to get right into this. Convo. I know I see a lot of things online talking about uh, 49ers to be all in on Aaron Rodgers. I'm not a fan of Aaron Rodgers. I know I said in my last video we talked about Aaron Rodgers and all that. Well, Tom Brady, I, I believe. I, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and say if he come at a good price not to get him. But at the same time, we shouldn't be all in and just jump into another quarterback situation. I mean, for all that, you know, just keep keep Jimmy G. I know they're talking about having him traded by March, but it is what it is on that one. Uh, I know I seen another article uh, that said five things that the 49ers need to go ahead and look at, you know, from the Super Bowl. Uh, one of the things is saying going all in, basically what the Rams did. They went and got everybody. I don't think they got any picks, like no major picks next year or this year in the draft, and they use it all. Uh, they said they talked about, you know, being aggressive. Sometimes it's okay to be aggressive. And I look at that aggressive play we should have took on that fourth and two. But season over with. And they also spoke on the quarterback situation. Um, like I said, Jimmy, a healthy Jimmy would have been good. You know, he had a soldier injury and a thumb injury. But we ain't going to speak too much on that one. They also spoke on let playmakers make plays. Um... Uh, we let Debo do what he could do. He's a playmaker. Kittle's a playmaker. I think we have a lot of playmakers on offense. Uh, Brandon Ayuk as well. Um, and they also have him saying, speaking on elite line. Uh, even though I think that we have a, a great rush, you know, but, you know, we missed D Ford. He's been out since last year. Uh, and Kinlaw, you know, we missed out Kinlaw. So it's like, you know, it's a tough situation that we got to deal with. Uh, but. I think that we we I think we still pretty good shape, man. I really like Trey. A lot of people said that. Well, speaking on Joe Montana, he spoke on Trey is not ready to you know start, you know. But I'm gonna jump into my first article I see up here, and it's speak on nine and eight. Oh, so nine nations dot com. The top five potential needs for the 49ers this off season, and one they said running back. This may come to it may come as a surprise to many as Elijah Mitchell come off his rookie campaign that saw him post some impressive statistical figures during uh, his debut in the season in the NFL. Uh, skip past that, but just a little brief. I'm, I'm not gonna read everything. Uh, Elijah Mitchell, he he showed up, and I agree with them. I think we need one more Russian attack. And it's, speaking on one of the free agents, free agents. Uh, Raheem Mostert. I don't know if we'll get him on the contract, how that situation going to go, but I would love to have him back. Um, that's one of the free agents I was going to talk to, so I'm going to kill two birds with one stone right there. Uh, having, I, want, I want Raheem Mostert back. I want him back, 100%. Um, give him like a, a little, give him a deal that, you know, we can keep him for a couple couple years, a year or two. Um, you know, so Elijah Mitchell just can build himself up into the NFL. I mean, he already proved himself, but you know that sophomore always be different from your your rookie campaign. But you know, we need that that veteran back. You know, and I think Moser is a great back for our system. I'm not gonna say he's the best running back in the NFL, but he's great for our system. Um, uh, another guy I seen coming out, I like Cook coming out of the, um, the uh, out of Georgia, and I also like um, there's another cat. Ah, we, I think he coming from Cincinnati Ford. Yeah, uh, somebody brought that to my attention. I like him as well. And I'm speaking on potential rookies. Uh, that'd be good for that position. Um, they spoke on defensive tackles. The 49ers in a tough spot where 
I stopped Tough Spot here because they found a tremendous amount of success with DJ Jones and Eric Olmstead in the interior. But Jones' success has also potential price himself out of future with the 49 er Jones finished the season as the number one ranked defensive lineman in ESPN run stop win rate. Uh, having DJ Jones, that's somebody we need back as well. Uh, that's another free agent I was going to talk about, but like I said, kill two birds with one stone. We need to have that D-line. We need to have that. I mean, like I said, we missed Ken Law last year. I mean, this year, sorry. So having him back, we don't know what kind of Ken Law we're going to get back. You know, he's coming off a, a surgery, so we don't really know what kind of uh, player we're going to get. You know, we could get an explosive player or we could get a mediocre player. But, you know, having DJ Jones back, Huge plus. I, I like Eric Armstead in the middle of the interior. So that's pretty dope as well. Um, edge rushers. Uh, this one might also come as a surprise, but the importance of the position is why this is on the list for me. Uh, most most seasons it would be put edges as a top five potential need, regardless of who play, who I mean which player at the position already. Uh, edge rush wise. I, got, I will honestly say I wouldn't mind having another edge rusher. I mean, we had Willis and Key and all them guys. You know, both going to be both. But at the end of the day, you need that that complimentary DN. Um, you can either go through the draft or go through free agency. I don't know. I didn't look into the D, the, the pass rushers. I looked at a couple of players that, um, you know, could help us. I think Willis is also on, on free agency as well. Uh, but I wouldn't mind having him back. Um, I was coursing him when we first got him. I didn't really know too much about him, uh, but I'm excited. I think I think that's another player that we could get back. Um, huge, huge, huge come up. Uh, number two is defensive backs, and that's I don't even got to read much on that one, man. It's just that's unfortunate with Verrett. That's another one going as well. But it's like, is that a person that you need to bring back? You know, he got injured twice. Um, I don't want to say injury prone. But you know he's injured. But if we get him back for the right price, I wouldn't mind having Verrett back. I would love to have Verrett back. And Kawan Williams is free agency as well, and Tart. And it's like you know, do we need to move on from these players? Uh, he's good. He's a great nickel. You know what I'm saying? But is that a situation where we can replace him uh, as well as Verrett? You know, we got E Man and uh, Arby Thomas is out there balling. So it's like you know, but. At the end of the day, you need veterans. You need them players that have been there before. You need them players that's going to, you know, uplift these players and make them better. I wouldn't mind drafting more corners. I wouldn't mind looking into uh, the trade and as well as free agency. You know, we need corners. That's the main position I think we really need to fix. It's our corner, our secondary. Fix it ASAP. Um, last one, inter- interior offensive line. And it's another situation. We got Lincoln Thomas and we got Tom Compton. Um, all them boys, um, free agents, you know. It's a lot of free agency that we got to fill in. I think Lincoln Thomas is going to be back as well. I know Trent Taylor. Trent Taylor. <laughs> Shout out Trent Taylor with the Cincinnati as well. Trent Williams asked about him being back on the team as well. Uh, but that's one of the players we need back. He stays healthy, stays on the field. I know we still got McGlinchey out there as well. I know I read something about that. Could be a potential trade as well. Uh, but roll it right along. We can go right to this 49erwebzone.com. How desperate could the Washington become a potential trade for 49 Jimmy G? Um, I know they talked about that. And I know they were speaking on, you know, the Commanders. That's a new name. Found sounds so weird. <laughs> Looking into getting him because they talk about how weak the, the quarterback class is coming into the draft. Um... I'm just going to read this a little bit. It said, what happens if Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson remain with their respective teams, the Green Bay Packers and Seattle Seahawks, a down year for draft-eligible quarterbacks could force quarterback-needy teams to overpay in the, in the trade market. That would buy well for the San Francisco 49ers who are expecting to part way with veteran Jimmy Garoppolo, quarterback with a career record 33 and 14 as a starter. Uh, could a team like the Washington Commanders become desperate enough for an upgrade to acquire the 49ers starter from the past four and a half year, half seasons? Um, and that's one of them situations like, mm, I don't want Jimmy to go, but at the same time, hey, it's a business at the end of the day. Uh, 
potentially be a first round pick that we need. You know, we could pick someone up, you know, to get rid of Jimmy. Uh, we have a quarterback of the future. Uh, like I said, I know uh, Joe Montana spoke on, he don't think Trey's ready. Steve Young said, like the young guy play. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's solely on. It's solely on what 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 Shannon. Like I said, I know a lot of speculation with Tom and it's speculations with Rogers. Uh, it just it's just so much. I'm just rolling right along to NBCSports.com is another art impact Jimmy G's value on the trade market. Four hours into the off season, intending to trade Jimmy G and begin the trade Lance era in full. Uh, Garoppolo exit from the San Francisco isn't written in the stone. But it would be a stunning turn if of events to see the 30-year-old signal caller back in Santa Clara next season. So basically, you know, this is a tough decision. And I, I don't I hate just constantly speaking on the quarterback situation, but that's the biggest situation that we have to deal with for the last couple of you know couple of years. I know a lot of people say get rid of Jimmy. Some people say keep Jimmy. It's so difficult to really point a finger on how you're gonna handle that situation. But ah, it's a tough, tough situation. But Mike, I was speaking on the free agency. Like I said, I'm just going to speak on the three. Uh, Raheem Mostert, explosive back, fast back, one cut go, uh, no dancing around. Having a one-two punch with him and Elijah Mitchell will be lovely. So 49ers, please, if you get an opportunity, re-sign that, man. Jawan Jennings, stud, third down. Hey. Possession catcher. He going to catch the ball. He going to get open on the third down. That's another guy I would like to have back. Jawan Jen is another guy that I would love, 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 love to have back. You know, you can't keep them all, but these are, I'm just, like I said, I'm getting these three today. Uh, I'm going to try to drop another video on Wednesday, but give you some more <laughs> free agency after I do this week. And I'm going to jump into, you know, once the free agency over, then we jump into, you know, not free agency, sorry, the resign period and free agency come on for sure. That I feel we need, that we need to pursue. Like I said, Jawan is a stud, man. That's another receiver that we should keep. Um, I'm not gonna say a lot of teams are gonna be knocking down the door to go get him, but it's an opportunity that we could get him on a low price, on a lower price situation right there. So, I, I, like I said, I'd love to keep him. Uh, like I said, I know we can't keep everybody, but that's one of the players I would love to keep. I know we gotta get Debo signed on the contract as well as Bosa. So. And I hate to say it this way, getting rid of Jimmy would clear up more space as far as money. So that's another situation with Jimmy that we got to deal with. Um, Raheem Moser, Jawan Jennings, and, I, and Lincoln Tom. <laughs> that's one of the guys. We, we need that. We need off the line. Uh, we got a young cat coming in. Uh, and Trey Lance. He got to come in and ball out. At the end of the day, we got to ball out. And that's need protection. Even though he can scramble, he can maneuver a little bit more than Jimmy G. And we need to, we need to protect the young man. We need to have him healthy. He got a strong arm. I know uh, Brandon Ayuk spoke on throwing the ball. DB ready to hey, he gonna get the ball down. He got a strong arm, little zing to it. Um, it's a little different from Jimmy G. He's more conservative, conservative, and his passing. I mean, he to, he's a field general. But I think you know traders take a little more risk. Get them big players. Get that high passes. I mean, Get it going. And once he's settling, I think he'll be good. Uh, but like I said, I'm super excited for next year. Uh, like I said, shout out, shout out uh, the Rams, man. They really balled out, man. Bittersweet situation, but you know, like I said, I, I, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you, Odell. <laughs> but I ain't gonna hold you guys. Like I said, man, I'm gonna try to do more and more of these videos, three or videos a week. Let's drop videos, drop content, let's keep dropping content, man. I gotta get it, I gotta get it, keep pushing. Um, but I'm gonna do more on this channel as well. Um, like I said, I want to touch more on everything. This, this is more of a network than just a channel. I want to have multiple, you know, videos. You know, I want to talk about everything, man. This is my network. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. ESPN right here, or I could be, uh, I could be, you know, your traveling channel. I want to be everything on this this channel right here, man. I just want to be everything that you know, everything that you guys need. How-to videos, Xbox video, gaming videos, the 
weather, whatever you need me to do, this is the channel gonna be. And I, I wanna grab a lot of audience, just focus on this channel. You know, I'm gonna have sections for each one. I'm gonna line everything up nice and neat. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna drop another video on Wednesday, the free agents, I mean, the signings that I, I really believe that we just need to go ahead and knock down. Uh, but like I said, man, I'm super excited for you guys. I mean, I said super excited for you guys. <laughs> well, I'm super excited to get these videos out to you guys. Make sure you like, send that like button, man. Hit that like button so, you know, this video could get pushed for other people to watch as well. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all the above, because y'all truly, 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 truly important to me. This is for my new subscribers, my old subscribers, my faithful subscribers. I appreciate everyone. And like I said, man, I really thank you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. Yeah. Hey, BBJ, she talks yeah. all. Hey, BBJ, she, man.